our second day in Dubrovnik. We are heading to go join our walking tour, going outside the city walls. But because we're staying within the city walls, we're leaving right now, but look at all the tourists in their group being guided into the city walls. Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off The Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my adventures. So we're in Old Town at a bakery on our way to our tour. Found this ham and cheese stick. Mm, it's good. Almost tastes like pizza. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. Okay. After going about about 10,000 million 50 thrilling steps, this place better be worth it. But locals say it's one of the best bakeries in town. I got a, a chocolate croissant. It's not as sweet back home, but it's, it's still good. Known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, Dubrovnik, Croatia is a must-visit destination for its stunning architecture, crystal clear waters, and rich cultural history. The water is so clean in Dubrovnik, you can actually drink out of the fountain. Water in Dubrovnik is safe to drink because it comes from clean, well-maintained sources, including natural springs and reservoirs that are tested regularly. And it's so cold. So we are starting our Game of Thrones tour. So interesting fact, the first couple of seasons was filmed in Malta, but because Dubrovnik was like, you know what, we can use that money. So to put it in perspective, before Game of Thrones, it cost $7 to walk the walls. After they filmed Game of Thrones here, now it costs 35 euros to climb the walls. Fans of the Game of Thrones will love exploring Dubrovnik because it's the real life King's Landing. Oh, this is the Red Keep by the way and this is our tour guide who happened to be an extra on the show and he made sure we knew that multiple times. <laughs> but if you're a fan, here are some reasons why you should take Game of Thrones walking tour. First, you'll be walking through King's Landing, the tour will take you to the Red Keep and the famous Shame Steps. Also, you'll feel like a true fan because you'll be standing where Jon Snow and all your favorite characters stood. You'll get insider stories and facts about how the show transformed from the city and of course you'll capture amazing photos and remember some of your favorite scenes from the show and they just put a red carpet i'm just going to show you right now a simple red carpet here he's talking about where joffrey got married and poisoned check it out thanks landing See how the people baking uh, the staircases and they climbing up. So you can't see that till the season eight, till John Snow is walking down, saying goodbye to King's Landing, and that's the first time anyone's gonna see this. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, I highly recommend taking this tour. <laughs> When you take this tour, just be ready for all the steps and stairs that you will be climbing, but also you will be walking a lot. This is the season two in which little thing I tried to explain the song. So. The city walls of Dubrovnik are some of the most impressive in the world. They're nearly two kilometers long and took about 500 years to build. These walls have never been breached by enemy forces. Here's another fun fact. Dubrovnik is home to one of the oldest pharmacies in Europe. So, we just finished the Game of Thrones tour. It is hot. I should have followed my own advice from when we did this last year at, um, where were we last year? Egypt, Egypt and Jordan and also in Greece. Bring an umbrella, bring an umbrella. Okay, so we're finally cooling off with a nice glass of rosé at one of these alley shops. 
Okay, it's time to try the bruschetta. So actually, the bruschetta barracuda is actually pretty good. Mm. So we must have gotten lucky yesterday when the gelato line for pepinos was a lot shorter, but look at it now. It's kind of long, but totally worth it. It's so good, we're back. Well, Dubrovnik certainly does not have a sh shortage of stairs. As mentioned, the wall is about two kilometers long and they started building back in the 10th century. It took hundreds of years to complete with the final touches added in the 16th century. The wall was built to protect the city from invaders and the wall never failed the people inside. This is a pretty amazing place. As you walk around the walls, you get some of the best views of Dubrovnik. On one side, you'll get the sparkling blue Adriatic Sea, and on the other, you'll see the red roofed buildings of Old Town. So why should you visit the city walls of Dubrovnik? Well, besides getting a serious workout, and trust me, there are a lot of stairs, it's one of the best ways to experience the history and beauty of the city. We're just walking the city walls still. Man, you're getting a really good view from up here, seeing out into the ocean, the sea, and into the old town. This basketball court is a popular spot for locals because it's surrounded by ancient buildings and next to the city walls, it's one of the most picturesque basketball courts you'll ever see. It's a great example of how modern life blends with the history of Dubrovnik. Another popular activity is cliff jumping into the Adriatic. You can access this spot through the Boosey Bar. It's a free activity, but you will swim at your own risk. So we tried to find this spot for dinner, but we just couldn't find it. It's weird how you walk through the wall, but then it's also adjacent to people's homes. So you can see that um, there's people that live here. Hey, thanks for watching and remember to hit that like button and tell me in the comments, have you been to Dubrovnik? Would you like to go to Dubrovnik? Are you a fan of Game of Thrones? So we're nearing the walk and it took about an hour and a half-ish to kind of stop, admire the views, take pictures and stuff like that. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Although we didn't find that restaurant, we did find a street, and at the end of it was another Pepino's ice cream. Watching the sunset from top of the city walls is pure magic. As the sun dipped into the Adriatic Sea, the sky lit up in shades of orange and pink. Walking the wall feels like you're part of something timeless, surrounded by the beauty and history of Dubrovnik. Well, we are definitely enjoying the views from up here, walking the city walls. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. It's one of the things that you have to do uh, when you come to Dubrovnik. But just be prepared for all the steps. It's the price of these amazing views. So we walked all there, up behind there. All around, down and up, and here we are. A 
Okay, so we've completed the wall. It took about, actually, I thought it was gonna take about an hour and a half. It took us about two hours, only because we took a lot of pictures. <sighs> Yay. We are trying to swim to the Blue Caves. We're in the Blue Caves, and I just kicked someone in the ass, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 